Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. Welcome back to part three of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part two, we finally made it to the school, uh, where we went into the Over Academy, uh, met up with some professors, met up some, with some uh, Arvin, and we basically got told all of the various things we can now do in the Paldea region, uh, such as, uh, let me see, uh, well, there's my profile anyway, but um, we can now do different uh, missions. We can do the Titan mission, where we go find the po Pokemon Titans to collect the herbs with Arvin, we can do the Pokemon Gym Challenge, uh, or we can do, um, you know, whatever we want, really. Um, so, there's uh, after doing some quick research, um, the original plan was to go to the, towards the bug gym, which would have been interesting. But I think, um, after doing a little quick bit of research, without spoiling myself too much, um, there's a upgrade we can get for uh, Maridon very early on, which is the dash upgrade, which you can only get at the Path of Legends um, uh, portion of the uh, of the journey of the missions, uh, which is the Search for Stony Cliff Titan. So here we can actually go have a look uh, at the Stone Titan. If we defeat the, the Titan, uh, we'll get an upgrade for Maridon, which will make traversing much easier from now on. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the Stony Cliff Titan uh, in this part, and if we have enough time, we're going to also journey towards the Bug Gym as well, and maybe take on uh, a Nimona, and also take on the Bug Gym there as well. Uh, and then, like I said, like my original plan is going to be, go to the Bug Gym, go to Psychic Gym, and then go to another Titan here. Just basically make our way round doing this way. Uh, I think that'd be a really cool idea. Because uh, I think everyone and their mother's going to go like, oh, we'll go this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then do an electric gym, and then do whatever it is. But I, I'm going to go opposite route. I'm going to go this way. But first up, uh, let's go towards the Titan. Uh, the Stony Cliff Titan, uh, which is this way. I, I, as you can see, I've prepared myself. I've done a little bit of clothes swapping, and uh, I think I'm happy with the little get-up I've got on now. Um, but right now, let's... And we can now jump on Rhydon. But let's go for, get up the first upgrade and take on the Stony Cliff Titan. Let's go, Rhydon. Roto, 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 Roto. Hello, this is Ronnie's phone, right? It's me, Arvin. I was a bit worried about whether or not you managed to set out yet. And you did end up deciding to set out for East, right? After leaving the school? If so, you're not that far from the area where the Stony Cliff Titan is set to make its lair. Story says clings to cliffs, practically becomes part of the stone, then attacks from above. Though maybe don't be staring up overhead all the time looking for a Titan, only to come tumbling off some cliff you, don't, you didn't see. If that ever does happen, you can open up your map app and call yourself a flying taxi to pick you up. Some of those rocky areas are like a real maze, so try not to get lost, little buddy. And if you find a Titan, let me know. Let's get going. And as you can, wow, we can already start to terrestrialize some Pokemon, uh, go to towards some terrestrialized uh, dens. Uh, let's get connected to the internet first as well. Uh, that way we can, uh, if we do go into, uh, into a Terra Den to take on some Pokemon, we can do it with some friends, of, uh, do it with some friends, uh, with some allies. Uh, there's a guy checking out a picnic right now. And there's a Rookie D, there's some Pokemon over there. Enjoy picnicking. I just went shopping for some damage ingredients and bought more than I could use. Make, mind taking some? Sure. Got some pickles, some eggs and some ketchup. Awesome. Since you're here, want to kick back with your Pokemon at my picnic for a bit? Nah, I'm good for now, mate. I just want to get off of my journey and start catching some more Pokemon. Hey, Pikachu. Of course you like ketchup. Of course this guy has ketchup. That's just brilliant. Uh, okay, let's. there's some Pokemon here. That's a new Pokemon. Hello, who are you? Little blocky guy. Uh, rocky blocky guy. Uh, let's immediately switch out for uh, anything I have might kill you, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna switch for Le Lechonk. It's like he belongs in Minecraft. Uh, Nackley. Uh, 
and poor McGree level up. The ground scrapes his body as it travels, causing it to leave salt behind. Salt is constantly being created and replenished inside Nackley's body. Uh, a rock type. Do you want to add a rock type to our party? Um, for now, I'm happy with my little guys at the moment. But we have a new Paldia regional Pokemon here, which is Nackley. Uh, looks like there's some more Pokemon over here. There's some young goose we really caught, but we haven't caught any... Oh, I don't really want to fight a young goose right now, but okay. Uh... Now, I'm not a fan of the Pokeball not dropping to the ground when it comes across a flying Pokemon. It should, should really fall to the ground, right? You know, there's still gravity. It doesn't just... I don't get why it doesn't fall to the ground. Uh, we're not going to actually do the party. Uh, I do need a flying Pokemon, but I want to catch the regional bird Pokemon of this uh, of the Paldea, like we've seen in the, all the cutscenes. Uh, there's a trainer right there, a Maki Hitter right there, and a Terra thing right here. So we got some things to do. So let's uh, get up the team real quick. There we go. Right. Um, now let's do a Terra Den. Crystals. All around you may spot gleaming crystals emitting brilliant blazes of light. If you investigate one, you'll be able to take on a Terra Raid battle and try to defeat a powerful Terra Pokemon. In Terra Raid battles, you'll work together with other trainers to battle Terra Pokemon. You can battle alongside far, far away friends while in your online mode, or nearby friends while you're in your offline mode. These battles will pit you against Terra Pokemon with rare Terra types. If you and your allies can work together to defeat the Terra Pokemon, you'll have a chance to catch it and also get special items. This is a level star, uh, star one regular little combi Terra type. Um, does it also mean it's a fighting type? Uh, let's change our Pokemon. Uh, and let's switch for... Let's select poor me. So that means a fighting type combi. Uh, so maybe it's a good idea to go with Quaxley. Probably a good idea. Okay, challenge as a group. Let anyone join. I don't know if I will show that battle because uh, at least we've got a combi. Finally, I don't want to add it to our party, but it's a male combi as well. Could have been a female combi. That would have been interesting. Uh, the max raid battle. Uh, max. Maybe we shouldn't do an online one again. Maybe not a great idea. That's a lot of uh, a lot of spoiler Pokemon right there. Uh, there's a fairy one over there. Energy root. Another little rock guy. No, no, button, not map. I wanted to jump. How do I jump? Jump. There we go. Okay, so, uh, a fairy... Sunken. Okay, let's change Pokemon. And let's challenge alone. Um, but help's gonna help anyway. So uh, this way, hopefully... <laughs> Like my last one, which I won't show, uh, it won't spoil a few things. So, um, let's actually, this is, t t count this as my first Terra Raid battle. With a fairy Terra type Sunken! Nice helmet, dude! Okay, Rockeraf, Pornard, Sandile. Okay. Uh, not some great help. In a Terra Raid battle, you'll try to defeat a Terra Pokemon within a time limit. If your Pokemon is knocked out, it'll be revived after a while, but you'll also take a time penalty, so try to avoid letting your Pokemon faint if you can. You can also perform a special action in Terra Raid battles, cheering. By cheering by your, for your side, you can do things like boosting the stats of Pokemon on your side, or helping them recover their health. You can perform cheers three times per battle. Okay. Let's Poison Tail it up. It's super effective. Okay. Went for a light screen immediately. Keep waiting on the pain, guys. There we go. 
I could all tackle once. That's kind of awesome. Very weak absorb from Funker in there. Keep on going, guys. And that's it. Nice job, guys. Let's catch our first Terra type Pokemon. Uh, in a Pokeball, why not? Here we go. Terra Pokemon, you're mine. Gotcha, Sunkone was caught. Got some experience candies, uh, some more feathers, some pearls, which is awesome. Uh, Chesto Berry and some more pearls, awesome. Nice. And we got a Sunkone. Uh, sent to the box of the rest, but we got a fairy type Sunkone, that's kind of cool. Uh, what's up here, Maridon? I need a bit of a run up. Uh, a little bit of a. Just gonna, yep. Come on. How can you not get up there? What if I hold down the button? Yeah, just... Come on, man. I can't get up there. That's so annoying. Uh, but there's a weird little tunnel down here. I wonder where this goes. Anything over here? Ooh. You're new. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, the little fire guy. Charcadet. Uh, let's just try a poison tail, see what happens. Oh, we got birds by Ember. Not great. Whooper buddy. Uh, I don't want to knock you out. You're level 13, though. Uh, maybe you could at least survive one. Uh, let's do another poison tail. It's fine. It's clear spot. Not very effective. But I think I was a. All stat changes were eliminated, okay. I'm just gonna keep doing poison. Tail, we're fine for now. A little bit burn. Another ember might hurt. Gonna go for Astonish instead, make me flinch. Oh no. Uh Okay, yeah, whooper. Not doing good, pal. Let's uh swap in for Quaxley. There we go. Uh, let's just do a wing attack. <gasps> no! Oh, god damn it. I killed it. I really wanted that Pokemon. Oh, man. Oh. Who's that Pokemon? Had bulb. Oh, this is the thing that evolves into electric Pokemon that we saw in that trailer. Um, that also makes you an electric type. Um, so let's swap in. Because you're also level 17. Oh, it has water gun. Are you water electric? Went for a charge. That's good. Speed fell. That's fine. I think we can get one more mud shot then. Oh no. Whoop, oh no. 
Well, at least we're not doing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, poor me. Let's, uh, let's see what Metal Claw does. Not a lot. Not very effective at all. That's... Um, hang in there, buddy. Okay, we'll get back. Oh my god. We are underprepared for this. Alright, in the orange. Uh, let's go Le Chonk and uh, let's go we'll just, we'll just try Pokeball see if that works are you water electric? because if not I could use a netball Try a netball. Nice. Okay. Whew. Tab bulb was caught. Everyone besides the team fainted got the. Oh, it's just pure electric type. Okay. It flows using electricity stored in its body. When thunder clouds are around, Tab bulb will float high off the ground. Um. You are very interesting, though. I might swap you for poor me. That might be a good idea. Uh, I also want to see what poor me evolves into. Uh, I also I want to see what it would evolve into. Um, for now, I think we're fine. Okay. What? Oh my god, Quack is evolving! Oh my god! Oh my god! Here we go! Ah, look at this! Congratulations, your Quacks evolved into Quackswell! Oh my god, he looks so awesome! Practicing Pokemon. The hardworking Quackswell observes people and Pokemon from various regions and incorporates their movements into its own dance routines. It's a dancing duck! That's amazing! Quackswell, okay. Very impressed. I need to heal my team. I need to heal them so bad. Okay, uh. Nice. Right. Anything down here? Let's have a look. Mixed pea candy, nice. A glowing Jigglypuff? Uh. So Terra Pokemon could appear on the overworld without being in a Terra Cave, okay. Uh, Terratalizing, Terastalizing Water Type Jigglypuff. Okay. I chose the wrong Pokemon for this. Uh. Swap in, whoop, uh, swap, whoop her out even. Uh, four. For me. Okay, we're just having voice, that's fine. Uh, let's find a shocket. Nice. Ooh, that was a powerful round. Okay, find a shocket again, please. Don't knock it out though, poor me. Just... Nice. Okay, and let's... Pokeball it, please. Oh, 
Uh, what type? Terror type? Jigglypuff. Nice. Uh, ah, you're not a water flying type. That would be cool. Um, I wish Fer Fido had some furry type moves, actually. You know what? That'd be really great about, right about now. Let's actually send out Quackswell. This crab was probably going to have, like, Thunder Punch or something, right, though? Used Leer. Okay, that's fine. Let's look at our new Quaxwell. He looks so awesome. I'm so happy. Look at that. That's friggin' awesome Pokemon. Po awesome Pokemon design right there. So cool. Uh, yeah, let's uh, wing attack this guy. Nice. Awesome little dance as well. Look at that. It was so cool. Brilliant. I made the right choice in Pokemon. I, the tragedy I went through at the Hudson Gym was struck again. I because you lost. Uh, what? T Tarantula is evolving. You can evolve in the overground as well. <gasps> Finally evolving though. What do you evolve into? Whoa! What the heck? Your Tarantula evolved into Spidops. Trap Pokemon. Spit up the covers territory in tough, sticky threads to set up traps for intruders. What? Pure bug type. That's kind of awesome. What's to learn Silk Trap? Yes, you can. What does Silk Trap do? The user spins a silken trap, protecting itself from damage while lowering the speed start of any attack. Ah, oh, that's Ben's drink shop. That, this guy looks awesome, though. So much better than his previous form. Oh, my God. Oh my god, so cool. Uh, the chonk, you need some evolutions, buddy. Okay, uh. Poor me needs to level up. The chonk definitely needs to level up. Um, let's find out what's over here then. Come out for a little while, the chonk, and you get some experience rolling, my dude. Um, so then what's over here? A Harry Yama, dude. What level? Twenty-five. Heck me. Um, I take this though. Level twenty-five Harry Yama. I'm good, thanks, pal. Why are you not on the map? <laughs> And a spoink. <laughs> Why not? Uh, let's actually switch out Lechon because he's actually low health. Swap in my new dude, Spidops. Let's go. Check out this little this guy. Almost I'm clipping through the rock, but that's okay. Look at this guy. He's so cool. Yeah, Bug is... Psychics is not very... Oh, I'm confused, though. That's not great for your first time, pal. Uh, bug bite. Let's go. You're an attacker. you physical. What are you? What, what are you? Physical or special? Oh, hit yourself in confusion. No, not a good start, pal. Not a good start, Spit Ops. Uh, try bug bite again. Let's go. Come on. Nice, there we go. Yeah, more, so much better than your previous form. And the Chong finally got to level 15 as well. And wants to learn Covet. Uh, which is fine with me. You can get rid of Tackle. There you go. Is the going to evolve? No. That's fine though. Oh, there's the sword thing I saw earlier. I can maybe get to it. And there's a char cadet. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Let's catch this little guy. Level 14. Uh, we're gonna... Don't want a mud shot. We're just gonna echo voice. That's fine. That's fine. They go for a which you can't use on me because that's a ghost type move with a normal type Pokemon. 
Someone explain to me how ghosts can't affect normal people. Is that, is that it? Is this, it can't affect them? If you're normal, ghosts don't mean anything to you. Is that, is that how that works? Uh, I'm going to actually catch you, though. Uh, in a Premier Ball. Because you look awesome. And you deserve a very special Pokeball. I have a fire type Pokemon for, for the team, so that's great. Char Cadet was caught. Uh, I don't know who to replace you with, though. Um, you just pure fire? Fire child Pokemon. Its fire power increases when its fights reaching over 1,800 degrees Fahrenheit. It likes berries. I'm rich in fat. Ah. Uh, I would love to add you to the party, but you're going to fight a rock Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> though, to be honest, uh, you're probably. Uh, gonna be better than the bug type and the. Uh, mm, I think. Uh, what I swap you with? Maybe Lechonk? I feel. Uh, yeah, let's swap you for, for Lechonk. Because <laughs> Lechonk's okay, but it's just taking a while for it to just. be good. Uh, we, yeah, we need to get to Pokemon Center really quickly. Because I'm running out of options for uh, for items. Let's get, let's get this thing. Metal Claw. Okay. And then we can jump that gap, maybe? If we get a good running start. Uh, okay. Huh! Yeah, nice. So what is this sword? What is this thing? There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. We you pout the stake? Yes. When you put out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Uh. What did I do? Another luxury ball, nice. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> we still got so far to. We went, at least we went all down there and found like a Harry armor and what have you. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, right, Pokemon Center. Let's go. Hoot. So many Pokemon. Been having some nice battles. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. So far, you've defeated four trainers here in the area three of the southern province. If you defeat, once you defeat six trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. Ooh. Okay, let's heal up the team. Uh, and see what teams we can make, actually. That'd be interesting. Right, so we need to go in this way. Roto, Roto. Huh? What's going on? Hey, Ronnie. So, from what I gathered, the Stony Cliff Titan looks, likes to look somewhere in this rocky area. I had a look around, but I couldn't find any trace of it. Maybe it's way up high on a cliff or something? Nah, that's impossible. I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky, so don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search for it somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look, and if you're feeling stumped, it's pretty handy. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! Piggy and a Surviper, who are you? Level 20 and level 20. Okay, uh. Whoa, 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 Speed fell, that's fine. If I'm paralyzed, you, you're gonna just. Okay. Keep using glare. 
speed fell again. One more mud shot. Let's go, Wooper. Use Poison Tail. I'm not going to do much. That's fine. That's fine. I think... We do a tackle. Oh, I guess that's just fame. Oh, that did a lot. Uh, in which case... Let's try Great Ball. Let's go. Nice! Caught a level 20 Surviper! Wiglet wants to learn Aqua Jet. Brilliant. Uh, let's get rid, rid, let's get rid of, rid of Sand Attack. Uh, level 20 Surviper. Awesome. And you to the, to the Pokedex. Okay. Um... Big question, where's the... Oh, where'd the pig guy go? Damn it! There's a Litlio up there, though. Well, I wanted the pig guy. The pig guy was cool. I bet that was the evolution of... Uh, level 19 Litlio. Let's try and catch you. Whee! Down the hill. Whoa! This is the this is the guy. Who's this? Okay, let's see. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, it's gone. No, wait. Let's go. Who is this guy? This is Cloth. Uh, in the trailer, we were shown that. Uh, oh, oh, Wiglet, no. Oh, buddy. Didn't stand a chance. Okay. Uh... Okay, go, Wooper. <laughs> Hopefully, you will do better. Right. Uh, mud shot, I guess? Okay, good. That's the plan. That's the plan. Don't kill it. Yes. Yes. Cloth. So you are pure rock type, which is uh, awesome. Um, pro Pokeball. Let's go. That didn't work. That's okay. He's got Rock Smash. Again, not very effective against my Whoopie Boy, so that's all good. Uh, we'll just try another Pokeball. Again, not getting the ball. Angry big crab guy. Get in the ball, please. Nice, there we go. Cloth was caught, but we lost Wiggler. Oh, buddy. Probably goes to level 17. Maybe go evolve soon. So Cloth is just pure rock type. And the ambush. That was kind of an ambush guy. So that's, uh, as in the trailer we've seen, it's the first Titan Pokemon that we come across. So uh, knowing that Wooper boy, that Wooper, I keep saying Wooper boy, knowing that Wooper um, will actually um, be good against it is, is very reassuring. Um, let us switch around some of this team though, because... Uh, Who's that Pokemon? Nimble. Okay. Uh, I don't want to knock you out with anything. So let's just... Uh, a little bug? A little electric bug guy? Ooh, almost knocked you out. That's not good. Ooh. 
Get in the ball, please. There we go. Nimble's caught. What Pokemon is this? You want to learn Willow Wisp? Uh. Hmm. I mean, I guess I don't need Astonish. You want to learn Low Sweep? Uh, sure. Better than Low Kick. Nimble. Bug type. It's highly skilled at a fighting style in which it uses jumping communities to dodge and come in attacks while also dealing damage to opponents. A grasshopper. Okay. Now, we'll send you to the box. But another little bug type's cool. I wonder what you evolve into. Uh, okay. Maybe we can go down there to find a dragon. So let's go find there and get the dragon. Uh, dragon. Uh, a Scylla Cobra, that's a dragon type. Okay. I'm going to select Fido for this. Uh, and we're going to challenge... Challenge alone. Because if we challenge this group, it's it's just all spoilers. <laughs> Dragon type silly cobra. Rockruff, Pornard, Quokkarok, and, uh, and my little Fido. Okay, let's uh, take this guy down. Uh, Trastalize into a... Okay, uh, play rough then. Nice! Instant, almost. Critical hit, that's why. Oh my god. I'll take down one hit. Nice, we got it. Try to use headbutt. Okay. Yeah, but we, we defeated it anyway. Nice. Silly Cobra, dragon type. That's kind of awesome. Uh... That's the same colours. I kind of like it. Let's go. Into a nest ball you go. Silly Cobra, the dragon type, terror type Pokemon. Okay, uh, right, let's go up here. And, aha! Uh -huh. There's the Titan guy we're looking for. Uh, okay, there's uh, some more items over here as well. There's a trainer up here, there's a. Oh, there's a tower, okay. Hey, Clawf. Crickle hit. Nice. Didn't have to do that, Wooper, but I'm glad you did. <gasps> Poor me's now evolving. Yay! Oh, my God. What are you evolving into? What are you evolving into? Oh, my God. Uh, just a slightly bigger Poor me. Okay. Your Poor me evolved into Poor Mo. Ah. <gasps> Who's an electric fighting type? Dude. Poor Mo uses a fight, uh, unique fighting technique in which it uses its four paws to strike foes and zap them with electricity from its paw pads simultaneously. Ah. That's awesome. Wants to learn arm thrust. Yes. That'd be so good against a rock guy. Uh, let's get rid of quick attack. Electric fighting type. That's awesome. Okay. And we're going to save. Just to be safe. Let's take on this gigantic claw, which is up here. I guess we go up here. 
take you on. Big clawfy boy. There he is. There's something up there as well, so we'll go up there in a minute after we take on. Uh, here we go. The Titan Claw. The Stony Cliff Titan. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, that's a great idea. Oh, you're still electric. You're not fighting. That would have been so much better. Uh, we're gonna do arm thrust and see what happens. We're faster, which is great. Yes, a lot of damage. Keep going, buddy. Nice, super effective. Almost down, down to half, so that's brilliant. Vice grip, so that's good. Okay. Well, then we'll do uh, we'll do a thunder wave. Can I actually catch you? Who's gonna like run away? So it might be unable to move. Here comes a rock smash. Hang in there, Pormo. You're doing good. You're doing good. Uh, oh, you can't actually. In which case, we're just going to do another arm thrust. I can't actually throw a Pokeball. Didn't give me the option to. I hit two times. Okay, that's brilliant, though. It is. Ooh. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hang in there, buddy. It's defense fail, though. And it's special defense fail. Okay. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Fight grip, here he comes! <gasps> Pumbo! Can I not throw a single Pokeball? Okay, we are still faster. We are still faster. One more arm for us should do it. Just got it. Count it. We did two. There we go. Okay, into the red. Scurring off! Oi, you! Get back here! Now we've got to find it. But what well on poor Mo. You did absolutely amazing, buddy. First battle, and you freaking killed it. Item up here. So now we've just got to find... Where did he go? Right, do any ideas? Uh, okay. Anything over here? Ooh, TM though. Snarl, nice, okay. It went off in, uh, yeah! Found it! <laughs> Whoa! The Titan Cloth began eating something. Uh oh. Hey, Arvin. Ronnie, you found it. And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth has got any business being that big. Is it gonna be even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Rolly. What the heck? Oh, yes, a shelter. Okay. Right. Uh, now, can I actually try and catch it? That's the question. Uh, we'll do another arm thrust. On the Pormo, obviously. Uh, on the cloth, actually. This is looking a little rough. Shelter, let's surf up a table of defeat. On the half of the shell. On the half shell. Oh, it got strong. Come on, Pormo. Free hit. Don't hit three times. It's not too bad. Here comes Vice Grip. Shoulder got off. Oh, okay. We're for Shoulder that time. Shoulder with Water Gun. Nice. Lots of damage. Critical hit as well. Nice. Uh, let's try Metal Claws. Just to see what happens. Does it do more damage? Mm, 
I don't think as much as not as much as oh attack throws though. That's nice. Which is I which is very needed. Okay, very needed. Comes a rock smash to shoulder. Hold on, shoulder. Defense fail. Okay, I think a like, just one attack should do it. Let's fish up with some arm thrust. Poor Mo. Vice grip, here he comes. Oof. Okay, no, we can survive that. We can survive that. Nice. Come on. Here we go. I think that did it. Wasn't given us an option to catch it though. Would have loved a giant claw. Woof. You defeated the Titan Claw. Everyone gained some levels. <gasps> Whoopers finally evolving! Into Paldean Quagsire? Oh no! Your Whooper evolved into Clodsire! Oh no! What did they do to Quagsire? Oh no. It lives at the bottom of ponds and swamps. It will carry whoop on its back and ferry them across water from shore to shore. That's cute, at least. Oh, but they've... Oh dear. Whooper? Great. This? Oh no. Oh no. And someone else is evolving? Okay, no. <laughs> Just cutscene. All right, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. But these type Pokemon, oh, yeesh! I sure don't have like having something to so tough out there to get me. I bet somewhere in here there's more of that Herba Mystica, Mystica that the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around it before he comes back. Well, it fainted. I don't think it's coming back. Watch your step, it's pretty dark. Hmm. Oh, no way. This is one of the Herba, Myth Herba Mystica. It's exactly how it looked on the book. You and Arvin found the sweet Herba Mystica. Yes, we actually found one. It's all thanks to you, Roddy. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here that the sweet Herba Mystica is good for gut health and that it helps aid digestion. It says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. All right, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah, hiya, watcha, hiya. Here you go, an Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs, and I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I'll call it a Titan badge, made it myself using a replica, replica of the gym badges, see? Stony Cliff Titan defeated, Path of Legends. Right on, okay. You want some sandwich? Ah, oh, what's up with that thing? It just comes out of its ball on its own whenever it wants. Sniff, sniff. Hey now. No, that's not for you. Grr. Do you want to give your sandwich some ride on? Here you go. Chomp, chomp, staff, chomp. Hey, I want. I went through all that trouble of making that for you and you just give it away? Hope you realise that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. Wait, really? Alright, alright, don't look at me like that. Here, you can have half of mine, but you better save every last bite. Cheer here. Huh? You already ate that whole thing? Whoa! 
Ryder will be able to dash now. This is the. F it's it's taken take, take for a long time, but we finally got the thing we actually wanted to do. What? Hey, is it me? Or uh, was this thing sort of powered up somehow? Adja! Well, I can't believe it. The power of these herbs really is worth guarding. If they had that big effect on, uh, on, on your Pokemon, then I bet. Well, I bet it will come in handy, super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Well, you, you've both filled your, your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. Guess it's time to tidy up everything up. Oh, don't you worry about helping. After battling the Titan, you've earned a break. Just leave this all to me. Though I'd much be, I'd be much obliged if you get a start on searching for the remaining four Herb and Mystica for us. Sure, I can do that. I really owe you. Ah. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. What was that about? Who's he trying to feed? What Pokemon is that? Didn't we didn't hear a cry? Rototo -to -to -to. Hello, Ray, this is Turo. Oh, Professor! I detect that Moraida on her to regain some of its original power. It seems it will now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. You can now move, have Moraida on dash ahead by pressing the left stick. But watch out for trees when dashing at high speeds. If you strike a tree while dashing, Pokemon lurking up, a, up amongst the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. I hope you'll continue to explore Pandia with Moraidon, as you have done here. Your route is not fixed but open before you. Seek out your own path using your, your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find that your curiosity peaks, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take good care of Moraidon for me. So now... We can dash by pushing in the left stick. We can do this. Woohoo! Go so much faster. Excellent. That'll get make traversing a absolute breeze. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is uh, after taking on the the Titan, the <laughs> I took out your dad. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> um of the Titan Cloth. What I think we're gonna do is uh, there's another little cloth over there as well. Um. What I think we're going to do now is head over to... Because we we're here anyway. Um, Artisan West is the home of the Grass Gym. But like I said, I don't want to do the Grass Gym and then do uh, the Starfall base. I want to do my own path. And originally I set off to go towards the Bug Gym. But I wanted to get the Dash thing first. So that's why this whole part has been us getting... The, the, the fighting the Titan to get the Dash thing. So now what I want to do is I want to go back to uh to the uh, mezagoza and then head in the next part head towards the bug gym cuz then I, I just want to do that way i just want to take some bug take on bug take on the fire and then head off to the next titan over this way cuz uh, that's cuz i just think everyone's going to be doing this they go, they go do the titan they go to the gym they go to uh the starfall street like, cuz i just I, I just get the feeling that that's what everyone's going to do so I'm I'm gonna do my own thing, uh, and uh, Nimona came out this way as well, so she's obviously over here somewhere. Uh, I just want to do that because uh, I think everyone's gonna do like uh, I think that's that's the reason why they they did this. Like you can do look, you can do the Titan, the Gym, and the Starfall thing, and then move on to the next one. Uh, I want to do this, this, the uh, this. I'm gonna go here, here, up to here, and then do the do the the Titan that way. I think that'd be a good idea. Um, so yeah, first up, I just want to finish up by heading into town so we can actually fly back to Artisan. Uh, where is it? So we want to go down here, get to Pokemon Center, and then we'll, in the next part, fly back to Mezagoza and then head off to towards the Bug Gym. I think that'd be a good idea. Right, let's, uh, let's head back on the path. Loads of Growlithe, loads of Pokemon are spawning, oh my god. Uh... And a Brookie D. Okay, really. Look at them all. Okay, I want to kind of want to check out Clodzire. Where's Clodzire? There he is. Uh. 
Can I go cloth? Oh my god, look at the- oh my, look at him. Oh, he looks so dumb. You can keep that floatstone, buddy, because- oh my god, you definitely need it. Oh, that's cool, though. Took him out one hit, nice. Oh dear. I thought it was a rock rough. It's a ground. If I actually I'm surprised I haven't run into a single rock rough over here. Uh, I'm going in the right direction. No, I'm not. Where's that tower? How do I get up there? Ah, metronome, TM, and what the heck is this? Oh, this is that new Pokemon. <gasps> there it is. It's a Gimme Ghoul. Level 10, though. I'm going to whack the crap out of this. Um, it's a ghost type. Uh, I don't know what to do. I think our best bet... Going for that Astonish, okay. And we're gonna... Mm, Will-O-Wisp. We're gonna burn ya. And I think that's the best bet we can do. Because anything else is gonna kill ya. Uh, we're gonna be here a while though, so... <gasps> yeah, there we go. Gimme Ghoul was caught. Finally, we have ourselves a Gimme Ghoul. Poor me goes to level 20. Ghost type. It lives inside an old treasure chest. Sometimes it gets left in shop corners since no one realizes it's actually a Pokemon. Ah. But it's got a little chest now, so that's awesome. I think it's like the roaming form and the chest form. So hopefully one day we'll find the actual roaming form. Uh, but for now, we've got the chest form. Okay, so now... On this lookout, we can see where the town we're heading to, which is over there. Look at that place over there, though. There's some Terra Pokemon over there. Right, let's... Uh, oh, God, no. That's one way to get down quickly. Right, let's... Uh... That's a Dunsparce. Hey, Dunsparce. What Terra type are you? Poison type. Okay. What level are you? 16. Okay. We're going to battle. And we're going to terrorize as well. And we're just going to end the earth. Might as well. Terror on terror. Use glare so he can't run. Oh, no, paralyzed us even. That's fine. Let's go, Chai Cadet. One more ember should do it. Here comes a poison tail. This might hurt. Oof, it did hurt. That hurt quite a lot. It might be a good idea to switch to our uh, to Claude Zaya. <laughs> Gosh. Not very effective. Uh, okay, quick will hit. Nice. Uh. Oh, I have to get you into the red, don't I? So this should get you into the red, right? I don't want to knock you. I want to catch you.
There we go. Right, now I can catch it. Uh, Todd's fast. Get in the great ball. Why not? Poison type Terra Dunsparce. That's awesome. I wonder if this is the final generation that finally gives Dunsparce an evolution. I really wonder. Claude's eye wants to use Yawn. No. Dunsparce. Normal type. There we go. Uh, send to the box. Nice. Okay. Whew. We used to be, we made it to town. Finally. I have a little, oh, I have a little area you can like charge your cyclist are. That's kind of cool. I like that. It's like I arrived early. And now we've added it to our map. We can now fly here anytime. Yeah, we can now fly here anytime. <gasps> but there's a Pokemon here that's not on my map. Who are you? Where are you? I want to catch you. You're not your new Pokemon. Where, where the heck are you? You're over here? Ah, there's some Oracorio. Where's the Pokemon I want? Some shop it. Okay, just, I'm just going to catch these guys. Hold on. There it is. Not the blue, yellow. Ah, oh, the yellow ones are gone. Let me try and catch one of these guys. What are you called? Yeah, you. What are you? Squawkabilly! Okay. Avoid the attack? Okay, that's new. Uh-oh. Ow, 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 ow. Not good. Not good. Not good. Mimic. Uh oh. Okay, a quick attack. That's fine. Not fine. That's a lot of damage. You do a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, I should have used the quick ball on you, I guess. Uh, you're blue. Let's catch you in a great ball. Nice. Squawkabilly. Great name. Everyone going through levels. That's great. Normal flying type. Okay. I actually do want to add you to my party because I always say I want. I need to have a... I'm going to swap you for Claude Sire because, oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, place item in the bag. Yeah. Different colours and different... I wonder if there's different... So there's different forms. Maybe they have different types. So maybe of different types, or is it you just all normal flying? You're all normal flying, but you just come in different colours. Okay, I do like the green one better. Okay, there we go. Right, and you can get a yellow one. So there's different. There's this. They do have different plumage, different colours. Okay, but now we're here. I think we're gonna leave it here. Uh, we've got, arrived at Artisan Town, but we're not. This is not the gym, the place where we're going to fight the gym. We're not going to take on the grass gym. We're going to take on the bug gym first. I want to do I, again. I want to do play this game my way. Now, originally, I said I wanted to get go to the bug gym first over here, over, over here, over here, um, and then head down towards the fire, the psychic gym. I think that'd just be more interesting because I think everyone's going to be doing this route where they go to the grass gym and then go to the fire girl. I want to do my way. So I'm going to travel back to Mega Mezagoza and then in the next part, we'll be heading down to tackle the bug gym. But here in Artisan Town, it took a while for us to get here. Uh, in this part, we finally took on the Titan. Uh, we've journeyed from Mega Mez Mezagoza Journey from Mesogoza all the way to uh, the South Province Area 3, where we took on 
the uh, over here, we took on the Stony Cliff Pokemon Clawth, who was giant titan mode, uh, managed to defeat him, and got the ability to dash with uh, Miraidon. So hopefully that'll make things a lot easier to get around this gigantic region with... Uh, and in the next part, we'll hopefully be, won't take us forever to get to the bug gym and take on the bug gym. Uh, so in the next part, we'll do just that. But as it starts to rain here, I, I will leave you with I am the one and only, and there's no way I'd rather be. And you've been watching m part three of my Let's Play of Pokemon Violet for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share and subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time, traders.